Well, a new school year just a week away for students and their families. Dr. Debbie Jones, superintendent of the Bentonville School District, is joining us live today to talk about how the district is preparing during a global pandemic. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Sure. Happy to be here. First, let's start with the different learning options for students for this upcoming school year. What is Bentonville offering families? We are offering all families the opportunity to select virtual. That deadline has passed, but uh, we have about 25% of our families who selected virtual, and then the rest have uh, chosen blended school, which means that they will return to school starting Monday. So we're really excited to get started. For those students that will be in the building along with staff members, what is the face mask policy? Um, all students and staff will be required to wear face coverings when they cannot social distance. And so our staff will certainly take every opportunity they can to give students the, the opportunity to remove their face mask. We know that students and staff can't wear those all day, uh, but when they can social distance in the classroom, when they're outside playing, then uh, students will have the opportunity to pull those face masks down. Is that something that will be provided by the district or will students be expected to bring some from home? We have asked families and staff to go ahead and start selecting their face coverings so that they can get comfortable ones that they really like. Sure. Uh, we do have backup face coverings should we need them. We've heard a lot of great stories um, from really across the state of how different teachers are innovating and getting creative with students coming back to the classroom. Can you give us some examples of how teachers in Bentonville are doing that in terms of setting up their classrooms to make sure that in-person learning is safe? Well, I'm anxious to see what all we do. I made some um, visits today to some classrooms and uh, teachers are in the middle of that right now and preparing their classrooms and working hard. Uh, just some of the innovative things that are new and I think probably will forever change. Uh, we are starting our kindergarten families back a little bit slower. They come in, the parents come in with their students to visit with their kindergarten teachers for the first time. Uh, and then they go home. Uh, they'll have a little drop off where student, kindergarten students can visit with their teachers on their own and they pick them back up. So it's kind of a gradual release model uh, to help them feel more comfortable. So our staff is truly amazing and they're looking forward to seeing their babies again. And so they're making, uh, their rooms are incredible. They will uh, remove as much extra furniture as they can to give them as much space. Uh, some of the, the capacity has been reduced in the school uh, by the virtual means and also um, for their lunches. Some will be lunch in their classroom and then some in the cafeteria. So there will be a great variety of changes, but um, you know, it goes back to students getting to be back in school, having the opportunity to see their friends and their teachers again. And so I know that they are looking forward to that. Sure. I know with that, though, for a lot of families comes just the anxiety of students returning in the midst of a pandemic. What are some of the biggest concerns you've heard from parents and how are you addressing that as a district? Oh, we certainly understand the concern that parents have at this time. Um, probably that just the anxiety of coming back and how do my children um, wear face coverings all day. And as always, I know that our staff, our parents know that our, our teachers are incredible. They understand that. And they're going to give students the opportunity to pull those down as frequently as they possibly can and do that safely. Um, they're probably a little anxious about uh, just contracting COVID and we have put every measure in place that we can to create a safe environment. We will be very uh, responsive. We watch cases daily and act quickly and promptly. And so I just want to reassure parents that it, we are on top of it. As soon as we know something, we communicate that to the parties. We never drag our feet. It's, uh, we just have incredible teams of people working very hard to provide the very best and safest education we can provide. Well, we have more questions for you. We'll have those right after this break. Back now live with Dr. Debbie Jones, superintendent of the Bentonville School District. Doctor, we want to ask you about sanitation protocols for the district. Uh, what are the plans for both regular cleaning and then if or when someone does get sick within one of your buildings? 
our protocols already exceed what CDC requires. We have invested in um, extra custodians within every single building. Um, we have um, extra sanitation stations. We're teaching students to frequently wash their hands. So that's really part of our education from the beginning. Um, multiple um, sanitation measures. And I invite the families to visit our website online and look at our reopening 2020 plan because we have pages and pages of sanitation. Good to hear. Talk also about student athletes and others that participate in extracurriculars. What is the district doing to make sure that all of those students who are participating in sports and other activities are safe? Well, families may know that the governor released uh, participation in both fine arts and in uh, sports programs on Friday. And so we're following the significant guidance that was shared from the governor as well in the Department of Health. Things like uh, decreasing the stadium capacity. And for us, that's really about 33% capacity and it's so detailed aside from signage and required face masks and hand sanitation stations, uh, we can seat families as a family unit, six feet apart, and every other row within our stadiums and our arenas. And so it's pretty significant as well. Um, we have a lot electronic tickets that we will be sharing, um, selling for those games, and it will be pretty limited capacity. We only have about 30 seconds left, but what would be your final message for students, for families, for teachers, all heading into the start of school in just a week from today? Number one, breathe. Um, recognize that there will be changes. Uh, recognize that um, we have limitations. For example, the families won't be walking their children into school the first day, but know that there will be a sweet, loving, teacher or staff member um, to escort your child to class and we will take care of those children as, as if they were our very own and we will have great days when we return to school next week. Well we appreciate your time we hope the start of school goes well and that everyone stays safe and healthy. Thank you. We'll be back with Garrett right after this.